So very good day to everybody once again. This is a security system management in the tourism sphere. And in this class, we discuss about how you try to examine the origins, the development, and of course, the role of security in tourism. We try to illustrate the security as well as the standards of a bigger law. We discuss about how you try to examine the risk analysis, the security service, and how you'll go with insurance in the tourism sphere. So this is especially for you, my dear students and young researchers, and you can reach me at dr.christronan at the rate of gmail.com. So before beginning the session, once again, let me thank God for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national, international participants, students, and young researchers. So in this class, we discuss about uh, informed risk taking. We discuss about value creation and then protection. Then what are the human factors as well as cultural factors involved in this one? Of course, we have discussed this many times, but anyway, uh, in order to further strengthen the security in the tourism sphere, we discuss about risk management process and what are the key actions in the six phases of crisis management that we'll be discussing. What is the intermediate recovery phase? What is the pre-risk as well as crisis management? What are the market oriented responses? What are the destination responses? What are the critical success factors? What are the general six functions of risk management? And finally, what are the fundamental principles of resilience? So that we'll be discussing. So at regular intervals, I'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics. Right. right. Informed risk taking. So actually, it's a planned management. Okay. So where you have you know about the consequences, about the impact. And we are taking some steps in order to eradicate that. Okay. So inform risk risk uh, risk taking as well as effective management is definitely it's very useful for the tourism sector. Okay. Whenever you have um, the set of rules and regulations, it should uh, comply with the ISO standards. Okay. So that is how for the case of management managing risk at tourism, you have to comply with the ISO thirty one thousand. 2018 standard so that is the standard that we are actually maintaining okay so they have some foundation principles okay so for the decision making for the several activities that are going on okay so you are going to go for this informed risk taking okay so of course it is planned it is structured it has some various components that are associated okay and most importantly it will be producing positive results also uh, the the efforts that we take should be consistent with whatever we are planning with. Okay. So the risk management will have financial, clinic, clinical, operational, and then regulatory factors. So that definitely, whatever we are doing based on available resources, it is fit for the purpose specifically for taking the internal as well as external risks. Okay. So here we have inclusive. Okay, inclusive means. Like we have prior knowledge, views, and then understanding about the review as well as treatment of risk. Okay, so what whatever we are trying to take the risk, okay, whatever we are treating them, we have the knowledge about the review. Okay, so it will help improve the awareness. It will make informed risk management choices. Definitely, you can allocate of scarce resources. For example, some resources you will be using, some resources you will not be using, but in real scenario it is not good so you have to make equal usage of all the resources so that it will be communicated to all the members of the institution or maybe organization so in the case of value creation and protection we'll have integrated this is a very powerful word integrated or maybe collaborated then you'll have structured and comprehensive okay customized inclusive dynamic best available information human as well as cultural factors everything what we have done you have to repeat it you have to update it you have to upgrade it okay so that is continual improvement so by the word dynamic of course you are going to anticipate you are going to detect you are going to identify you are going to acknowledge and whatever may be the changes quickly it should be able to respond to the changes and maybe risks so we have to do it in a timely manner, not like delayed, no, not in a delayed fashion. Okay. And then best available information. So even the website also, software also, there should be periodic updates. Okay. 
so historical current information should be updated and there should be scope for future enhancement okay so that should be the case okay and information should be timely should be clear cut even third party also they try to access the information they should understand okay and it should be available to the relevant stakeholders for example third party holders are also there so that they, them also information should be publicly available okay so this is what you have okay and then you'll here you'll have human as well as cultural factors judgments insights analytics intuition like past experience okay previous experience so that is what you will have with human and cultural factors continuous improvement whatever we are making on to dynamically we have to update okay we have to be responsive to the changes okay for the organization what it will become after five years what it will become after 10 years and what are the uh, requirements that it needs in order to upgrade so everything is all about continuous improvement and for example employees they those who are working in the organization they require training in order to go to the next level so that also should be there okay so messaging practice everything should be in a life cycle continuous improvement so this is how we integrate risk management into tourism operation so here you, you should have a assessment plan strategic risk assessment plan so here for this one it should be aligned with the annual operational planning okay AOP okay <coughs> so for this one we should develop some projects and pro for the project you will have risk assessments with the development of the project plans okay then you will have for the risk profile reporting as well as review that should be done in a quarterly manner so quarterly business evaluation should be done even the organization they will say performance appraisal okay so they try to evaluate your performance every month or maybe every four months every six months so everything needs business evaluation whether they are performing well or not they are performing low means why low what are the factors okay, what are the parameters and then fraud risk assessment whether any hacking is going on or maybe any uh, malware has dysfunction so the everything has been carried over every two years and then business continuity management risk assessment so that should be in alignment with the planning circles okay <coughs> and then procurement risk assessment so that is according to the tourism procurement policy insurance risk assessment okay so that in turn that aligns with the tourism contractor as well as supplier insurance requirement policy so this is the risk management process we will have scope context criteria and then you will have risk assessment risk identification risk analysis risk evaluation okay and finally risk treatment okay so in each of the cases with regards to monitoring and review and then communication and consultation we will have recording and reporting okay so everything is being recorded and then reported for proof check okay so here the work health as well as safety uh, risk assessments definitely we will try to have some good healthy well-being among the employees and that will work towards the health as well as the safety policy okay. so you have to identify the risk okay so uh, this is a way maybe the business unit or maybe project should be operating continuously in order to identify analyze evaluate and then treat the risks in a continuous fashion okay so because risk can turn out at any point of time and especially for the tourists it is very very important okay so you have to make sure that the identified risk are continuously monitored and then reviewed okay. so these are the key actions in the six phases of crisis management okay so here we'll have pre-crisis contingency planning okay you have to recognize the potential threats and you have to identify which are the threats which are likely to happen very frequently so that you will identify and you should establish a tourism crisis recovery task force and you have to have a headquarter location okay especially for the tourism crisis recovery task okay then you should have an ongoing market research in order to understand the recreation to identify different markets and segments you have to maintain the intelligence on the tourism okay what are the foreign consulates which are available 
what are the trade associations which are available and you have to go for the training so security persons you have to go for training tourism employees also you have to go for training okay so what training should be given if the threat happens how you should react so that training should be done and you should prepare the draft press releases so what are the standards what are the accidents what are the problems that has occurred according to the un world trade organization template so that standards you should show showcase to the employees and maintain good relations with the media tour operators and tourists if you are not maintaining good relation with the media media will try to show a very negative image about that organization okay and set up a clear channel of communication with the tourist okay so that is how it goes and second phase we will have emergency phase okay so here we will be having warning signs of the crisis you have to place crisis headquarter in state of readiness okay finalize the press releases and activate the crisis communication channel maybe like a website or maybe facebook twitter whatsapp everything showcase okay there is a problem you you understand okay problem will not come okay problem comes well, what you should do immediately you should be able to react and don't say no we don't have a facebook page we don't have a website you cannot say that okay and you will have the emergency phase which is where you have to take some more protective actions so you have to activate the crisis headquarter okay so provide medical food every other assistance in order to help the tourist employees as well as residents most of the cases what happens you try to help the tourist you try to uh, yeah only the tourists you will help employees and residents you will forget you will give least importance for that one okay and of course you have to put in place emergency evacuation procedures okay lead the government agency in order to activate the hotline by the media trade and public and of course urgent infrastructural repairs that you should go for for example during the crisis there is some repair then you will say no 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 after the crisis we can sort it out not like that you have to sort it out very urgently so that is the case okay. and you have intermediate recovery phase so here you have to carry out the infrastructural repairs okay and the damage to the tourism plan and of course the you have to go for the consistent as well as accurate messages this is very very important accurate messages through the media with the close private public sector cooperation okay and you have to target the less crisis sensitive markets as well because through them you can actually get the support okay you have to provide the subsidies of course the assistance to the tourism businesses and you can improve the security through the training and then visible presence so this is how you can go with the several phases okay not like one single phase for everything several phases are there and finally this one recovery and resolution phase so in the recovery phase okay this is a long term okay for the overseas investment you have to legislate upgrade the tourism facilities through the public private uh, sector partnerships will rebuild the destination through the promotional campaigns familiarization trips festivals okay highlight the islamic traditions of hospitality and welcome while emphasizing other aspects of heritage why we call this one because this is what is inspired from many of the groups of the people okay and then support introduction of new products to link with the market trends and implement the infrastructural improvements okay and finally resolution phase assess measures in order to rebuild the tourism because all the problem has come up okay it is finished now you have to rebuild the tourism okay feed the evaluation bank into improve planning practices and procedures start again in order to build it again okay as i told you in the last class about uh, i i don't know you you, you listen the class i told about nepal nepal problem uh, there was too much of problem and afterwards uh, they raised slogans in the social media once again the visits the arrivals again uh, jumped up to 1 million 1.2 million arrivals per year so that was what happened during 2000 uh, 15 16 and 18 okay so that was i was discussing okay so this is the pre risk as well as crisis management okay so here we are going to create a tourism specific crisis management okay so we will have like 
mitigation and prevention that is one stage you will go with the preparedness prediction and then early warning and then recovery you will go with the reconstruction okay right so you are go going to establish good relations with the media and travel okay in order to ensure good support and of course you are going to have a communication good communication with the industry members and of course vertical communication between the government and then the industry okay so that you are going to establish for the crisis management right finally the market oriented response so that should be a hotline a common hotline where you can answer to the media trade and then tourist inquiries as well that yeah, that can be automated but uh, at one point of time you should direct it to the uh, administrative operator and he or she should be able to resolve the queries okay so they should give consistent as well as accurate messages even of course truth is very very important we have to maintain the element of truth so familiarization trips also should be there for the journalists bloggers as well as tour operators and of course those who are cancelling the trips that should be immediate refund also not like we will give after 15 days and after that nothing happens okay not like that okay and there should be price reductions even and of course accommodation upgrades even for the people who had already booked or maybe who are residing in the country uh, we continue with the uh, evaluation of risk analysis and then uh, we discuss about the security survey especially in the tourism sphere so this is the market oriented responses actually we will uh, build the destination branding okay the image through the sponsorship through the support through the funding okay and we seek and promote um, promote the good news or maybe unusual trending stories that you we will try to promote uh, for example even in india also um, suddenly one song became viral and uh, the whole country everybody know uh, knew about that song even across the world also many foreign countries also they were dancing they were singing to that song so that became viral so that is how you try to promote a, an unusual song suddenly so that is how it goes okay and of course with the people even who are the co-creators of the brand okay so they can go with the uh, creating co-creating the destination image through the visitor contributions especially through the social media okay so funding bloggers also they try to write about more better you know, about the country okay and they try to you can also engage with the pr agencies okay market diversification everything appeals to the resident population okay to the holiday in country okay so um we'll have increased budget even for the marketing for especially for the marketing especially for the advertising especially for sponsoring we will have some funding even okay so that is linked to the visit okay maybe the number uh, the name of that particular country and maybe year or a specific theme even okay so this is how the market statistics or maybe trends are you know aligned in order to make sure it is much more fast to response to the crisis event okay right then you'll have destination responses we'll have uh, crisis or maybe disaster management plans and maybe action plans tax holidays subsidies everything has been done in order to make reduce the landing fees or maybe the visa fees government grants especially for the tourism businesses okay. and of course there has been funding direct funding is also there by the government by the development agencies as, as well okay especially for example if there is a third party also especially for the collaboration in order to develop their organization they would fund them okay so you can utilize this money for rebuilding or maybe upgrading your infrastructure in the short term and of course you can go with the capacity building okay so maybe if you can see this one okay uh, like risk mapping uh, risk management decisions continuous monitoring and reviewing okay and it goes on to defining destination objectives analysis of external and internal environment that you are taking place and then identifying the risk and then assessing the risk then you'll go with the product diversification also where you can actually um, integrate with the market diversification you can uh, reduce the reliance on the narrow range of product for example 
if some products are very much rarely available you can actually collaborate with others so that you can make the necessary products be available at all the time okay so you cannot depend on only in this particular product okay. and then improve security on the ground as well as in the flight even okay so that is actually visible to the travelers okay and then loosening of the visa regulations so that if you try to do then definitely the process would be much more easy as well and you can actually reduce the cost even. right and of course close collaboration by the government authorities even with the special stakeholders and good communication should be established between the tourism industry and the local community in order to ensure the support for the tourism okay right then we are try to analyze the critical success factors also where um, every every measure that we try to take are are reliable means to actually bring more security in the tourism sector okay so for example uh, you can bring as a good recognition as a brand even you can think it out as a brand okay customer loyalty okay reliable base okay so there has been a high link of repeat visitors as well and of course warm links between the visitors and the local people so maybe if the relationship is further strengthened between the locals and the foreigners then definitely people will try to come again and again especially for business especially for relationship okay and that definitely will help to recover from the crisis okay so tourists who feel a personal connection with the country for example now i am feeling personal with this country i can visit any number of times okay so I, for example if this country is uh, globally if it is suffering okay then what they will say we are suffering please help us then immediately we help okay so in the case of natural disaster also we tend to give some money okay so that's a point of visiting also in order to support this industry so recovery has been there when there is too much of commitment for example if i am working here long years inshallah okay so which means at the time of crisis i will have a strong community okay this country has given me money when i teach so i'm giving this much money at the time of crisis natural disaster okay so that will definitely help in the case of strategy or maybe policy or maybe understanding of the market trends even okay and recovery has also helped even so that's a clear evidence where the public and private sectors are actually working together okay so only if they work together they can get the help together and of course they can help each other during the time of the crisis okay and of course deregulation of over bureaucratic procedures okay like uh, uh, do this do that if you do if you do like this then definitely the country will not develop okay so if you try to deregulate these procedures if you try to give incentives okay for example the national day is coming the constitution day is coming give some incentives then they will definitely help in the time of crisis okay and of course for the long term governments have introduced training programs in order to further educate the employees okay in order to develop in that particular sector so this is the disaster risk management strategy we'll have the disaster management okay across the tourism mitigation and preparedness response and then finally recovery okay so here we'll have planning and exercise exercises everything has to be done has to be implemented or maybe executed okay so for which one you have to follow the operational procedures so here we'll have risk identification risk assessment okay and finally risk transfer okay so that takes place in the recovery phase and we should have like technical knowledge and of course the knowledge about the hazard okay that is actually taking place so everything matters the most when you are going with the disaster risk management okay so first of all you have to identify okay what are the risks are there and what are the hazards are there before they become real okay and then you have to make a analysis you have to make a probability time frame okay during this uh, period okay what can possibly happen what we can actually do what are the pot potential impacts of each risk and then you can classify you can prioritize them also and then plan plan means decision making okay so you have to make some action plans okay for fighting this potential impact of each risk and then track track means you are going to review okay 
review the data on the evolving risks and then control you are going to revise the plans whatever plan you have made out that should not be the plan for five years you have to update okay update the plan according to the data in the tracking stage and this is the crisis management framework okay so first of all you have to communicate both the internal as well as external information policies you have to communicate in order to ensure stakeholder buy it as well as support for the monitoring changes in the entire environment so in the stage we will have pre-event stage okay that is the contingency planning okay so you can use this planning especially for prevention based on the known information and then pro uh, dromal okay so that's the case of initiation of the contingency contingency plan okay so that is according to the response okay and then emergency we go for protective actions immediate okay and then intermediate it's a short term need okay clear communication strategy that's in response and then recovery rebuilding restoring okay the tourist attractions marketing response that will go with the recovery so that is the uh, effect out of the recovery that that's a stimulation out of the recovery okay and after the recovery we will have resolution review of the actions taken in order to feed into furthermore contingency plans okay so that's the prevention based on this new learning so the systems which do not evolve in the linear fashion but definitely it can fall into one particular cycle or maybe a loop yeah so the systems which actually do not uh, fall in this linear fashion but definitely it can fall in that particular cycle or maybe loop that can fall as the fundamental principles of resilience okay or maybe the characteristics of uh, each other repetition that is taking place in the pr process can uh, need not be similar at all so that also happens okay or maybe uh, it is uh, depending on the system's adaptive capacity or maybe it is depending on the system's vulnerability so that also happens and then adaptive capacity is based on the capital which is being accumulated uh, during each of the phases during each of the stages during each of the steps or maybe iterations so that comes under the fundamental principles of resilience so this is the resilience cycle or the hauling loop okay we'll have reorganization conservation release exploitation okay so if you can see there has been connectedness in this loop okay and there has been the potential to carry this loop forward okay so that is the thing. reorganization conservation or maybe protection release transfer releases transfer and then exploiting to the public okay. 